Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex. This is my six month old daughter, Everly, and today's video is gonna be her six month update. Um, the last update video I did was her four month update, so I have kind of a lot to update on. Um, she's just gonna be sitting here playing with some of her toys. So hopefully that's not too distracting, even though she's adorable, so how could you not just stare at her the whole time? Huh, Bubba? Yeah, you're so beautiful. Um, so yeah, she turned six months on January 6th. Today is actually the 18th. So, I'm, so yeah, I'm a little bit behind, but I figured better late than never. I wanted to get this out here because a lot has changed. She's changed so much from the last update video. Um, so yeah, let's just get started. So I actually took her to the doctors yesterday um, because she is not eating her solids. Um, so my doctor said I could have started solids around four months. I just didn't feel very comfortable with that. So I waited until she was about five and a half months old and then I tried to give her solids. Um, I gave her a couple different types and she can't keep any of them down. She actually projectile vomits all of them about two hours after she eats them. Um, so I was a little bit concerned. I thought maybe it was just the type that I was giving her, but then it ended up being any kind pretty much. Like even if there was no flavor, if it was mixed with my breast milk, if it wasn't, so it was pretty much anything that wasn't my breast milk she can't take. Um, so long story short, I took her to the doctors yesterday and the doctor was telling me um, that everything seems fine. Her weight gain is great. She actually weighs um, 19 pounds. So she's right on track for weight gain and she's a little chunky monk. But, um, but yeah, so the doctor was just telling me that it might be because her uh, muscles in her stomach aren't just like um, mature enough that like as some babies. So she just might be behind in that, in that category. Um, so not to be worried. They actually gave me a bunch of little like test little tubes and I have to give them a poop sample actually in the next couple days. So I think there's like four different ones that I have to do just to make sure that there's like nothing in her stomach or like a bug or a virus or something that we can, um, that we don't want to like overlook. Hey baby. So that's what's going on with the whole food situation. Um, but yeah, like I said, she's strictly breast, uh, breastfed right now. Um, she's gaining weight really well. She, another major thing is she can sit up all by herself. As you guys can see, so I'll turn the camera a little bit. She's just sitting all by herself. I do put pillows behind her still just in case she falls over, but she doesn't need them for support or anything. She sits up perfectly fine. Um, all she does, all she wants to do all day is play. It's so cute. I'm so happy because we got her so many toys and she just loves to play with all of them. You wanna come over here and just, um, oh, look at her little butt, little unicorn. But yeah, so her favorite thing to do is playing and she likes to look at herself, which is what she's doing right now. Um, another thing is pacifiers. I know this is like so random, but she wouldn't take any kind of pacifier. Um, then I ordered this one online. It's like the, I don't even know how to say it, the Nutter, Nutter Sutton or something. I'll have the link below. She actually really likes this one. So thank goodness for that. Um, she also will take the Advent ones, Advent from Target. I don't think I have one of those down here. Oh yeah, I do. It's right here. So this, it looks like this. So, um, but anyway, so yeah, she, um, is sitting up all on her own. She still doesn't roll over, which is fine. I know eventually she will do it and she likes to stand. She is so big and so cute. I love this little kid. Um, another thing that she started doing, she started doing to blow bubbles. Um, that's all she wants to do all day. She like goes, and it was so funny because my fiance was all saying, if you guys have seen that SpongeBob episode, when he's like in rock bottom and that's the only way that they all talk. That's exactly what she does. It's so funny. And then um, she'll make noises with her mouth. And now she's very vocal. She likes to scream. She likes to yell anything to get our attention or just to talk and hear herself talk. Huh? She did little baby talk. It's so cute. Um, she loves music. Huh? She does not like car rides. That's for sure. She hates the car seat now. Um, we're in the car a lot and she just she does not like her little bouncer. She loves that too. It's just I love it She's just at that fun stage right now where everything she wants. She's so interested in everything um, Her favorite thing in the whole entire world is Mickey Mouse Mickey Mouse Clubhouse You put that theme song on and she is laughing. She's smiling. She's so excited um, She has a little mini and a Mickey and they are her favorite stuffed animals She plays with them like all day long, which is so weird because she's so little It's just weird that she has a favorite. So I think that's really cute but um, a, a, something that I had to change this past month is her diapers. So we were using Loves, and I love Loves. They're super cheap. They never leaked for me. Um, she had a couple blowouts, but 
babies just have blowouts and that's just how it goes but we really really like that diaper brand and um recently she was getting um cuts on her upper thigh i have a picture I actually took and i'll put it in right now so um what was happening was she now that she is so active she's kicking her legs she's standing she's um, sitting up and her legs are constantly moving now that oh sorry I didn't even know my mouth was covered um, her legs are constantly moving now that the actual strap that that kept the diaper on um, I actually have one right here actually that is in my diaper bag I'll show you that I just haven't taken out yet so random but this right here where you like actually secure the diaper this part is like extremely sharp and for some reason because she was so active it would move down and it would actually just rub on her leg and it would cut her leg and it would actually bleed and it was just so sad so I was thinking of actually switching to cloth diapers because her legs are just so chunky that I didn't think I could find a diaper that wouldn't that 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 wouldn't happen to um, but I ended up hearing about Huggies little movers and I absolutely love them oh my goodness I cannot say enough good things about them they actually have a sticky part on the front that um, the actual like it, there's a sticky part right here and then so this part sticks with it and then you do the strap so there's no way that the strap can move uh, move down okay let's not eat the diaper so I really really like those and so far we've been using those about a month and um, nothing I have not cut her once so we're happy about that huh huh this pussy is so cute um, Another thing is her clothing size. We buy her all 12 months now. This actually is a, a nine month outfit, but for some reason it fits her really well. But everything else in 12, uh, in nine months do not fit her. Usually all her pants are really snug, but besides this outfit, this outfit just runs big, I think. Um, all her pajamas are in 12 months. I actually just started buying 18 months now because I can tell that she's gonna be out of the 12 months very soon. Her diaper size is size four, which I think she'll be staying in for a while because they're still pretty big. Um, I'm trying to think what else. What else to update you on, little monk? Oh, uh, another thing is she's starting to recognize like strangers. You know, when like babies are little, everyone wants to hold them and they don't really mind. But now, for some reason, I mean, it's just obviously she's getting older, so that's why. But when someone holds her that she hasn't seen in a while or if she's just not used to seeing them all the time, she looks at me and just screams and she gets so sad and her little lip like quivers and it's just it's so sad but as soon as i'm holding her and she's looking at that person she's smiling at them and she'll she's like wants to be social with them she doesn't want them holding her huh so she definitely recognizes um that i'm her mom and that max is her dad obviously um she will do it for him too she likes uh, as soon as he grabs her from someone that she doesn't recognize he's like she's totally okay so there's that um, I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else is new with you? I thought that I had so much to update on, but I guess I really didn't. Mostly the biggest things were the food, um, her not being able to take foods and her diapers. So yeah, but as you can see, she is just like growing right along. She's so big, huh? You put your finger on her toes and she immediately curls them around your finger. It's so cute. Max calls her a little monkey. But she still takes about three naps a day. She takes one in the morning around 10. And then she takes another one around 2. And then her last one is usually around 4.30. And then she goes to bed around um, 6.30 or 7.30. 7.30 is like the, is pushing it, but she'll stay awake if I need her to. But um, yes, yeah, last night she was in bed by 6 o'clock. So, and then she'll actually sleep all night. She wakes up and she feeds about twice in the middle of the night but she doesn't really know that she's waking up she just kind of wakes up and fusses and then they like just start feeding her and then she falls back asleep sorry is my hair stuck on your face hi sorry um but she is smiling all the time as you can see right now because she doesn't want to sit here anymore she wants to get up what are you doing can i have this but it's uh, another cute thing that she does is right before she's about to fall asleep you'll know that she's tired because she starts humming to herself it's just it's so cute what but yeah, she's still sleeping in our bed. Um, I'm hoping to start uh, sleep training her for her naps in her own crib. What? Ooh, slobber. Um, I'm hoping to start training her to sleep in her own crib when uh, for her naps. Maybe next month. I'm not sure. We're just not home all the time right now because we're staying at my mom's sometimes when Max is at work. So we just haven't been able to like get a routine down for her. Um, she has a bedtime routine and stuff, but for naps and stuff, she's still used to just, like, sleeping on me. I usually just hold her for a whole entire nap, which I don't mind because she is going to grow 
really fast and not want me to do that anymore. And I figured she's my first and I'm not gonna be able to do that with any of my other babies because I'll have a little Everly running around. Um, her teething, she still doesn't have any teeth. She um, chews on stuff constantly. She loves putting everything goes straight into her mouth. Um, her fingers, any toy I hand her, anything, anything, anything goes straight into her mouth. Um, like I said, there's no teeth. There's a lot of drooling and slobbering. Huh? But there's no teeth yet, which I'm okay with because I don't need her biting me. Huh? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's going to be it for this video. And we will see you guys in our next one. Look. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye, Monty. Let me see the smile. Say bye-bye.